hello and welcome back and today is our best of the year. Today I want to talk about the best NASs of 2020 for budget and more cost effective buyers. Right now if you are looking at a network as at storage solution for the first time and you're not looking to spend a lot and it's kind of your first tippy toes into the world, take my word for it that any one of the top three NASs we're going to talk about today will do the job for you. They are by no means the most powerful, they are by no means the most expensive of course, but they give you excellent value and they are more modest in their framework, design, architecture and ultimately how they will utilise your data. But before we go any further, let's get the disclaimers right, right out the way straight off the bat. First and foremost, every one of the NASs today has been released and available for sale, that's very, very important, before October 31st, 2020. We have to make sure that these solutions have been available for sale. We're not going to talk about something that's hypothetical or something that might be vaporware. We want to talk about things that you can actually buy, and that does include NASs from outside of 2020 as well, because just because a NAS wasn't released this year doesn't make it the best buy for you. But if something was released last year, you have to make sure it's available for sale throughout 2020 up until October. Second disclaimer, we are only looking at desktop solutions. There are actually quite a lot of affordable rack mount solutions out there, but I think rack mount solutions are in their own bracket and far more enterprise designed. And I think for most of my best ofs, I will be doing some specialist rack mount ones, but for the most part, I will only ever focus on desktop solutions because I think that is where the majority of NAS buyers will live. Also, I will only look at solutions with at least two years of manufacturer's warranty. Going through the last few years of these best of the year videos and articles, I have noticed more and more brands sneak a few budget solutions with only a year warranty. A lot of the top um, tier brands don't do it, but a lot of the middle to low brands actually do that, and they do that without telling you. So I will only consider solutions with at least two years of warranty. And finally, I am looking at solutions that are combined hardware and software solutions. Another little tightrope, another little trip that some brands do put out there for their far, far, far more budget solutions is that they either are weak hardware, good software, or um, bad software, good hardware. They don't give a balanced hardware software solution. So all of today's solutions and all of the ones that are considered for the top uh, ranks of the budget solutions had to be reasonably defined hardware and software solutions with licenses for the software and that you could access pretty much all of the um, applications that they're the most proud of. So in today's budget solutions, before we go any further, even more so, we should do give an honourable mention about the one that was fourth place. And all of these best offs, I will talk about uh, a NAS that was so close but didn't quite make it. And in this case, it was the Nimbus Store 2, released in 2019. That was so close to making it in this uh, category. There's only a one reason that you'll find out later on why I didn't make it. But an honourable mention straight away to the Nimbus Store 2. So if that is in your crosshairs as a NAS, don't leave it out. It is still a very, very good solution. But onto our top three. The first of our top three budget NAS of, uh, to buy in 2020 is the QNAP TS230. It's a tiny compact solution. I'm sure there's a graphic on screen. I haven't got one here in the studio. It is a Realtek quad-core powered uh, NAS. So it utilizes that ARM 64-bit processor. Um, it's a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core that also arrives with 2 gig of DDR4 memory. It supports 4K transcoding, 1080p transcoding. It's a two-bay NAS solution arriving with support of QTS from QNAP with support of um, Snapshot. It's got support of QFiling, QSearch, uh, and also, of course, file management in their um, file station application. Photo station, video station, music station, AI, photo recognition is supported with QMaggy. You've got a surveillance app. You've got the backup tools. You've got Hybrid Backup Sync 3. It is at this price point, an incredibly compact and affordable solution, uh, about 160 nicker for a two bay, which for a quad core NAS with two gig of DDR4 memory, but it can't be upgraded to be fair, it is a very, very good solution. Now, I should take this opportunity to say that all the NASs uh, mentioned in today's video, there's a link in the description to the full breakdown article of the best of the years with all three of today's NASs, but also there is more details to the reviews and comparisons for each of these individual devices. So you don't have to just trust this video. There's lots of links where I will show my workings and show exactly how I got to these top three. But 
as far as QNAP's budget now solutions go, the 230 is one of the best solutions they've released in about five years. It finds an incredibly good balance point between an efficient and competent CPU, support of the QTS operating system, two gig of memory to really keep things up and running, and it uses a very unique, compact, and low noise chassis as well. And although I'm not totally in love with the light blue color of it, I will argue that it is still a very, very attractive and compact NAS to most people. It's just not really my cup of tea in that color. Now, my next NAS choice in my top three, and I should also highlight that these aren't any in, in any preset order. The, they have differing prices. They are getting more expensive when we go through the list, but any one of these three is still a very good NAS solution. Now, this is a Synology. The Synology DS420J uh, released right, right at the tail end of 2019, I might add. This budget four bay NAS follows suit, suit with the previous generations of NAS in their J and affordable series, and arguably is one of the best affordable NAS solutions they've ever released. Arriving with the same CPU as the QNET we just talked about there, uh, the Realtek RTD 1296, that quad core 1.4 gigahertz ARM 64 bit processor. It also arrives with DDR4 memory, but it only arrives with the one gig of memory, so slightly less, but it makes up for it with its four bays of storage. It's a four bay, compared with the two bay before it it utilizes that kind of slightly retro uh, black bread box design there that opens out on the back but not only does it support traditional raid it also supports synology hybrid raid their own fluid raid system that lets you mix and match drives within the system's lifetime which is very very useful new affordable buyers that are looking at this four bay knocking around at about 270 280 quid which for a four bay RAID 5 enabled device and SHR is very impressive indeed. It also supports 4K transcoding, uh, or lots of the backup options available to you in hyper backup, as well as Synology Moments, Synology Chat, Synology Office, Synology Drive, Synology Calendar, Synology Mail, the entire collaboration suite from Synology to replace a lot of your third party cloud apps in Office 365. And that Synology Drive application with file versioning and file pinning as working as a one portal access alternative to things like google drive and dropbox this four bay really does tick a lot of boxes and again anyone that's ever looked at the synology solutions will be very well aware that looking at it you will think it's a bit underwhelming isn't it it is underwhelming but you've got to think of the price point and the audience in mind and within the budget category the 420j is a very impressive piece of kit from synology you just can't compare it against the 920 and the um, 1621 plus and stuff like that. Very good solution. I recommend it as a budget NAS. Now in third place, it's an unusual pick for me because this was the one for me that pushed the Nimbus Store 2 out of that top three category. And it is the QNAP TS251D. Now this two bay NAS, we're going back to a two bay, knocks around for about 270 to 280 quid if you shop around. But it, bring, it basically takes all the things that I've just said about the other two and doubles down on pretty much all of them. First and foremost, the CPU. It is a dual-core Intel Celeron of the J4000 series. But, interesting point here, and this is one of the reasons it ended up pushing the Nimbus Store out, is because when it was released in 2019, it arrived with an Intel J4002, um, 4005 processor. But, within its lifespan, in the last few months, they have upgraded the CPU and not changed the price as well, which is very interesting. If anything, they've lowered the price a little bit, and it now arrives with a J4025 processor, a 2.0 gigahertz chip that can be burst up to 2.9 gigahertz inside. So that's higher than the previous uh, generation CPU that was inside it, and they haven't upped the price. On top of that, this system also arrives with a CPU that is an x86 Intel 64-bit. So this has got embedded graphics inside UHD 600, which means it can handle 4K transcoding and 1080p transcoding significantly better than the two other devices I've mentioned, which are ARM. And I am talking Plex and Native in that as well. 
This two bay also has an HDMI out in a 4K 60 frames per second HDMI 2.0 port. And although it only has the one LAN port, it does have a PCIe upgrade slot that allows you to attach everything from uh, M2 and NVMe in, uh, SSD drives inside for improved internal caching, as well as adding a 10 gigabit Ethernet port. It has PCIe Gen 2 times 2 which means um, you have got up to 1000 megabytes per second uh, bandwidth between the card and the internal system and that means a full 10G connection on this is possible with a CPU that can do it. Along with that it supports all of the applications that we talked about in that TST30 uh, in, th in the third position there but it also has, thanks to that CPU, that Intel support of virtualization, support of QVR Pro, with lots more camera licenses included in QVR Pro, as well as support of USB cameras that could be connected to it, and better support and a better floating point of all of those applications inside. And ultimately, the 251D outperforms the other two by a market degree and still arrives for the most part at a lower price point than that of the 420j mentioned before it the reason it pipped the nimbus store 2 was simply the fact that they've now got the same cpu but it has that pcie upgrade slot and the better software overall but those are my top three nas purchases for budget buyers that right now in 2020 this list i would say is valid for a good three to maybe five months if you're watching this in summer 2021 maybe double check those links or see if i've done any other videos but i would say right now for at least another three to six months these are some solid solutions for you budget buyers and those that want to get a good nas solution with a good level of robust storage and hard drives inside all of these you're looking at a price tag you can get away with five to seven hundred nicker overall to get these populated and get a good robust home or business server in a cost effective way right now thank you so much for watching do visit the links in the description where we've got far more information about the selection process and even more of the parameters that went into these selections otherwise click like if you've enjoyed the video click subscribe to learn more and i will see you next time